I'm Nicole Camarda and I'm at a local elementary school where the school year is just about to start and the thought of children going back to school is causing concern for some parents. I listened into a St. Luke's virtual call where health experts discuss safety tips that parents and students need to know before the school year officially kicks off. We seem to be at a rather crucial point here in this pandemic. We have the Delta variant coursing through the country. Unfortunately, uh, overwhelming some of our hospitals. Over the last year, school has been different for all students and full of changes. Being isolated from remote learning or cancellations of sports has led to impacts on mental health. COVID-19 has created a situation where we're inundated with continuous changes and it adds that stress making it harder to make successful adjustments. But there are some things you can look out for if someone is struggling, like changes in behavior, sleeping too much, or irritability. One of the first things Dr. Brian Olson recommends is getting back to the basics. So notice um, good eating habits or sleeping or exercise. Um, also, be careful not to try to make too many changes at once. Uh, maybe sometimes it's best to identify a few priorities and then pace yourself as you work through those changes. From a parent standpoint, Olson recommends identifying particular tasks you can focus your energy on. Different school districts across the valley have implemented different mask rules, but doctors say while you might be feeling COVID fatigue, masking up can make a difference when it comes to battling the virus. We, we have some school districts that are talking about it. We have other school districts that are sort of refusing to engage and just ignoring uh, the, the data and what's coming. And uh, I'm a bit concerned as to what that will represent over the next few months for our for our children in schools. St. Luke's officials say we are not yet at the crisis point the state saw last November, but certainly headed in that direction. Nicole Camarda, Idaho News 6.